subtraction, a new method. There will be no borrowing in this method. So if you know the borrow method, uh, pay close attention. We do digit by digit. So we do ones digit, tens digit, hundreds digits, and so forth. The minus sign stands for subtraction. Our first example will be a relatively short example. Our first subtraction will be 8 minus 1. This yields a positive 7, which we write just as 7. Now, we're going to do 5 minus 9. That is negative 4. Our final subtraction is 4 minus 2, which is 2. Now, our current answer is 2, negative 4, 7. But we don't like negative digits in our final answer. So what we're going to do, wherever we see a negative, we're going to add 10 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. So we now see the 10. Since we added the 10 under the negative 4, we have to take away 1 in the next column to the left. Now we're going to add the blue numbers and the red numbers in their respective columns. So there is no number under 7, so we simply have a 7 on the bottom row. Now, we're going to do negative 4 plus 10, which is 6. Our final subtraction of digit by digit, 2 plus a negative 1 is 1, and our final answer is 167. Here is the second example for the new method. In our next example, we will subtract 8 from 6, we will subtract 9 from 4, and we will subtract 2 from 5. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Starting on our right, we see a negative 2. So we're going to add 10 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. And there's the negative 1. Now, if we were to add negative 5 and negative 1 in our final answer, we would get negative 6. So we will add a 10 under the negative 1 and add a negative 1 in the hundreds column. There's the 10, and we're going to take away 1 in the next column to the left. And there's the negative 1. Now we're ready to add the blue numbers and the red numbers to obtain our final answer. Our first addition yields an 8. Our second addition, negative 5 plus a negative 1 plus 10 is 4. Our final addition, 3 plus a negative 1 is 2. In our third example, the numbers are longer. This does not make the problem any more difficult since we're going to do things digit by digit. So, what we're going to do is 1 minus 8, 0 minus 7, 8 minus 6, 3 minus 5, 4 minus 4, and 5 minus 3. And we'll see the numbers come up. Our first subtraction is negative 7. Our next subtraction is 0 minus 7, which is also negative 7. 8 minus 6 is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 5 minus 3 is 2. We'll start on our right. Wherever we see a negative, we add 10 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. We now see the negative 1. Now, before we go to the 2, negative 7 plus a negative 1 is negative 8. So we'll do it right here and add a 10 under the negative 1. There's the 10, and we'll add a negative 1 in the next column to the left and go up as high as we can. And there's the negative 1. Now, since 2 plus a negative 1 is 1, we don't do anything with adding a 10 here, but when we see the negative 2 in the next column, we need to add a 10 and take away 1 in the next column. There's the 10. We'll take away 1 in the next column. So we have a negative 1 under the 0, and if we were to add 0 and negative 1, we get negative 1, so we'll add 10 under the negative 1 and add a negative 1 in the next column to the left. There's the 10 under the negative 1 and we see the negative 1 in the next column to the left. Now we're going to add the blue numbers and the red numbers. So negative 7 plus 10 is 3. Negative 7 plus a negative 1 plus 10 is 2. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. When we add negative 2 and 10, we obtain 8. Negative 1 plus 10 is 9. Our final addition, 2 plus a negative 1, is 1. And our final answer is 198, 1, 2, 3, 
which is 198,123. Our fourth example will also have numbers which are rather large. However, since we do things digit by digit, this does not add to the difficulty, it just adds to the length of time to complete the problem. Here is the initial problem. Our first subtraction yields a negative 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 7 minus 2 is 5. Our last subtraction is 8. Starting on our right, wherever we see a negative, we add 10 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. There's the negative 1. 1 plus a negative 1 is 0, so we go to the negative 7 in the next column to the left and add 10. So there's the 10 under the negative 7, and we must take away 1 in the next column to the left. Now, the negative 1 and the negative 2 yield negative 3, so we need to add a 10 under the negative 1 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. There's the 10. There's the negative 1, and negative 5 and negative 1 is negative 6, so we need to add a a 10 under the negative 1 and take away 1 in the next column to the left. There's the 10. There's the negative 1, and 1 and negative 1 is 0, so we go to the negative 3 and add 10, take away 1 in the next column to the left. There's the 10 under the negative 3. There's the negative 1 under the 5. We will now add the blue numbers and the red numbers, and our first addition yields a 1 on the right. Our next addition, 1 plus a negative 1, is 0. Negative 7 plus 10 is 3. When we add negative 2 plus a negative 1 plus 10, we obtain 7. When we add negative 5, negative 1, and 10 together, we obtain 4. 1 plus a negative 1 is 0. Negative 3 plus 10 is 7. 5 plus a negative 1 is 4. Our final digit to our answer is 8. You have just seen four examples of the new method for subtraction. In the book, Advancements in Elementary Mathematics, new methods are given for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. There are a lot of exercises. Each exercise has a detailed answer. Ordering information is below. If you'd like to email me for some reason, my email address is given below.